Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. It is late Saturday afternoon and I am currently driving from St. Louis back toward Kansas City. I went to the St. Louis Winterfest today. It was a lot of fun. They had a pretty good crowd there, pretty good sized flea market. They had some interesting technical sessions and they had some new vendors there as well. I don't do live-ish things very often. I thought it might be fun to take some of you along to a ham fest. Kind of a smaller ham fest, not anything like Dayton or Hamcation in Orlando, but a little bit more regional one. So let's take a look at what I saw. Here we are at the St. Louis Winterfest. I thought you might be interested to see what's going on out here. It's a pretty good sized ham fest for an all indoor one. And this time of year in St. Louis, you probably want an all indoor one. It's pretty foggy and cold and a little bit rainy out this morning. Let's go take a look and see what there is in the flea market. And of course, there's always non ham stuff in the flea market. But then we get to plenty of ham stuff. Lots of trinkets and older gear. And actually that shortwave radio looks like one that I had when I was a kid. A little shortwave receiver or multiband receiver. Some CB gear. And some more recent stuff. And of course, some more non ham gear. We have another new vendor here. Looks like he's got a bunch of show specials. I would tell you who it is, but I'm not sure who it is. They don't have a sign. But looks like they've got uh, a pretty good selection of different kinds of new equipment. SGC tuners, some Yezu stuff, some ICOM stuff. How you doing? I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that the St. Louis Suburban Radio Club is here, since this is in St. Louis. It says they're a special service club. Looks like they're just uh, selling, I don't know if they're selling this stuff for club members, or maybe this is a consignment table. Sometimes clubs will do that at Hamfest where you can drop off your equipment and just leave it at the table with them and they'll sell it for you for a percentage. They had a pretty good schedule of technical forums. I managed to check out a couple of them, but didn't spend a lot of time there. And they have a pretty good section of different clubs here. We've got the Youth on the Air folks, St. Louis University. This is people doing radio scouting. That's always good to see. Good to get the youth people back in. And here's the uh, Missouri, I think this is the University of Science and Technology, their radio club. And I guess they're having a meeting tonight. <laughs> the Arden folks are here. And they've even got a mesh node system set up that you can connect to if you want to give it a try. And it looks like they've got a camera going. So you can probably watch yourself as you're walking around. And in case you needed a leaf guard for your ham shack, they're here as well. Some antique radio collectors. A 
really good selection of tubes if you are into old uh, tube gear. You can probably find the tubes you need here. And ABR Industries came all the way up from Houston if you need some coax. So they've got a pretty good selection here today. They braved the rain and the fog. I talked to them earlier, they flew up. So they didn't have to drive that whole way. And lots of West Mountain Radio gear at their booth. In case you need any of the power strips, the battery testers, battery analyzers. I might actually one of the other new equipment vendors that's here is Associated Radio. They came out from the Kansas City area. That's where I came out from this morning. Well, I thought I'd stop by and say hi to one of our local dealers. This is Dan. Dan, did you guys come out last night or this morning? Oh, we drove in last night. Last yeah, night. set up the night before, so. Investment good for you? Great, good turnout, good folks. So everybody's having a good time buying stuff and getting toys. What's all about? That's what it's all about. Well, I got to say hi to our local uh, dealer from the Kansas City area and since we are uh, representing out here. Appreciate that. <laughs> well, we've reached the end of the ham fest. I had planned on getting a little bit of video outside the convention center to show you around the place, but as you can tell, it is raining and it's about 37 degrees outside, so we're going to do this last piece in the car. This was probably a little bit far to drive for a ham fest, but some people say I'm crazy, and they're probably right. But uh, came from Kansas City area to St. Louis this morning, and I'll be heading back this afternoon. Anyway, it was a pretty good ham fest. There were some uh, bigger names in ham radio here. Bob Heil was here. Uh, Joe Eisenberg of Kit Building fame was here, and I had a chance to chat with at least one other YouTuber, Kyle, AA0Z. He was here as well. So, hope you enjoyed the little bit of a glimpse of it. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.